all right guys we made it over here to our ditch so far i'm not seeing anything nothing in this upper trap nothing over there on that other side bouncing around doesn't look like anything happened with the snare down here other than it might have fell but uh yeah climb down here and get a closer look at everything <clears throat> looks like a drowning rod might be down on the beaver yeah our snare down here is pushed to the side right here oh, it looks like something come through there maybe we didn't have our wire tight and it just pushed right through there. I don't know why that snare didn't fall though. Yeah, that's our wire's loose right here. See guys, all that wire being loose caused that whole thing to Cause that whole snare to just push sideways. That animal come through, so I hit it here, just just pushed it through. That's why you gotta have, you got to be secure right there. And we'll see if we can't can't find something to lock that snare down. Let's see. We actually double checked these things yesterday when we set them out to make sure that they weren't going to turn. I guess we are wrong. Put it up here and try it again. We'll just open our loop up about where we want it. Let's take this extra cable, guys, this tail end of it, and we'll wrap it around our wire. <clears throat> uh, there we go. So now we got it. Now we got it to where it's not going to spin around there. See if anything happened in any of these other sets. I was really expecting to have a couple of catches over here. I'm a little bit disappointed. But I guess I can look right over there and see that snare still standing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the drowning mechanism on this rod's gone. We may have picked us up a beaver anyway. Get up here and check on these traps real quick and then we'll grab that beaver on the way back down. Alright, so this snare right here is knocked over. Nothing in it. I'm just going to put it back in there guys, stand it back up. Same thing here, that's loose. Boy, it's aggravating because I swore we, 
I swore we had them stat on their stout, but we'll try to fix it now. guys we got that snare there working again got it secured better up here on this stake let's check these these footholds out this one's still right here guys this one's still set right here so let's get down here and see what we might might have a uh, beaver redeem us. And a miss. Whoo! It's one of those mornings. It's one of those mornings where you really, really think you're gonna hammer them. Just can't wait. All excited all night long. Man, you got every one of your sets are good sets. And you know it's gonna happen. And then all the animals just out here watching you check, laughing at you. But it's gonna happen, guys, more than more than not. Just be a, be aware of it, and know that it is, and don't get disappointed. And just set the trap back. And. Uh, try again guys it will it will eventually happen you just got to be you got to be persistent i'll take a little bit of this caster lure and lay it right up there on the bank all right guys i got one more one more snare over here in the edge of the woods this morning we'll get over there and uh check it out I think while I'm over here I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of walk around back up this way uh, see if we can notice any heavy trails or something we might set going back the other direction on this ditch
Well, it looks like they're coming up right here, going, going right through there. On this trail, I grab a foothold real quick and we'll put a blind set right there just kind of on that little hill top and uh, have it wait in this direction for them. All right guys, so just this trail that they're using, right here's a little spot in this trail between this little briar bush and this this uh, devil's walking stick that they're coming right through here. We're gonna take this trap and we're gonna bed it. We're gonna bed it right here between these two, just a blind set. And guys, we're just gonna bed, just gonna bed this trap in there to where it's not moving. And we know we got some freezing temperatures coming. So just, we gotta worry just pushing this dirt up against these jaws. If this dirt's a little bit moist, it could freeze those jaws to the ground. We get this cold temperature. But we've got to get that trap secured in there. It's not going to do us any good anyway. So, all right. So we've got it to where the animal comes up here and they step here, here, here. Right there is a little bit loose, wiggling. So let's put a little bit more. Try it again here. All right, so that trap's in there now, guys. If they step anywhere besides that pan, the trap ground's not gonna move under their feet. All right, so now, how's all that's left? We're just gonna take and push this pan down. Night latches. All right, all we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure not get any gumballs or anything that'll clog that clog that trap up we're just gonna take a few of these little leaves we're just gonna blend that trail back in we'll take that stick there and lay across there so they'll step over it Anything that might hold those jaws open, guys, we want to get out of the way. All right, we'll just take, take and we'll clean this trail back off down here. Got these gumballs. I, I bet those animals don't like stepping on these gumballs. We'll place a couple of them gumballs right up here on this side. So what they're going to do now... If they're coming this direction, they're going to see this stick. I had to step over it. 
they're gonna see those gumballs, don't wanna step on them. That leaves our, our trap the one place you're gonna put your foot. Same thing if they come this way, they're gonna wanna step over them gumballs and over this stick. So that right there leaves the only open spot for them to place their foot. Oh. <coughs> All right guys, so we got that blind set in that trail. We're gonna We're gonna ease on over uh, ease back over to where I got that other snare set. See if anything happened there last night. And then we'll go on over to uh, to that pond we still got set and see if maybe something didn't happen there last night. Those otters come through. All right, guys, back at the big pond. <clears throat> Trap still guarding there. <clears throat> Our long spring still set here in this trail. <clears throat> Let's step over here and see what's going on in the ditch. Not much. <clears throat> Let's check the dam over here. Looking like it's just gonna be one of those mornings, guys. Yep, well, everything's still set here, guys. Our snare's still guarding the end of it here. The 330's still set. Our foothold's still right here at this log. And then uh, drowning rod. They still got the trap sitting there, so uh, nothing happened this morning. Uh, Kinsley's going to wait until she gets off the bus to check her traps, and I'll check back in with you guys then. And uh, hopefully she can redeem the old man today, and uh, she's got some catches there at the house. But uh, we'll check in with you and let you guys see what she caught here in a little bit. see any sister I don't see anything either what about the other one over here in the side of the bank I'm jump across there and... oh, <laughs> all right guys we pulled out here pulled out here to check Kinsley's traps and it doesn't look like we've got anything anything in any of them today so uh, this cold weather may have the animal shut down but uh, anyway we're gonna gonna leave everything set here and uh, we'll be back checking tomorrow.